Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what gabapentin is, the history of gabapentin, how gabapentin works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, gabapentin can be used to control partial seizures. Gabapentin is also used to treat post-therapeutic neuralgia, which is pain that occurs after having shingles. According to Cleveland Clinic, Gabapentin can also be used to treat moderate to severe restless leg syndrome. Gabapentin is categorized as an anticonvulsant that acts in brain tissue to prevent seizures and relieve pain in the nervous system. Gabapentin is also known as Fuspag, Venatrex, Gabarone, Grelis, and Neurotin. Gabapentin was first discovered in the 1970s and received FDA approval in 1993. It was originally used as a muscle relaxer and antispasmodic medication, but later its anticonvulsive properties were discovered. It has been available to the U.S. public since 2004. According to the National Institute of Health, Gabapentin has approved use for post-therapeutic neuralgia, adjunctive therapy in the treatment of partial seizures with or without secondary generalization over the age of 12 and ages 3 to 12 with partial seizures and moderate to severe restless leg syndrome. Examples of off-label uses of gabapentin are post-traumatic stress disorder, neuropathic pain, fibromyalgia, bipolar disorder, anxiety, and mood disorders. The exact way that gabapentin affects the brain is not fully understood. Gabapentin affects GABA and glutamate levels. GABA is a neurotransmitter that acts as a quote-unquote nerve calming agent to keep nerve activity in the brain in balance. Glutamate is a quote-unquote nerve exciting agent released when electrical signals build up in nerve cells. Gabapentin increases GABA levels and decreases glutamate levels to keep brain activity in balance. According to Cleveland Clinic, common side effects of gabapentin include feeling tired, dizziness, headache, nausea and vomiting, difficulty speaking, recurring infections, memory loss, weight gain, movement or coordination problems, and unusual eye movements or double vision. Seek immediate medical attention if the following symptoms develop. Confusion, unusual dizziness or lightheadedness, slowed, shallow or troubled breathing, unresponsiveness, bluish colored or tinted skin, especially on lips, fingers, and toes, rash, itching, trouble swallowing, any swelling of hands, face, or mouth, fever, swollen, painful, tender lymph nodes in the neck, armpit, or groin, unusual bleeding or bruising, and yellowing of the eyes and skin. It is important to check in with your doctor regularly during the first few months on gabapentin especially if you have epilepsy. Gabapentin can cause a serious and life-threatening allergic reaction called drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms or multi-organ hypersensitivity. Take caution when driving, using machines or other activities requiring alertness since gabapentin causes dizziness, 
vision changes, drowsiness, or trouble with thinking. Gabapentin can cause agitation, mood swings, depression, or suicidal ideation. Consult a doctor immediately if you or your child are experiencing such feelings. In conclusion, gabapentin is an anticonvulsant that can be used to control partial seizures. Gabapentin is also used to treat post-therapeutic neuralgia, which is pain that occurs after having shingles, as well as moderate to severe restless leg syndrome. Gabapentin was FDA approved in 1993. Along with treating epilepsy and neuropathic pain, conditions such as PTSD, mood disorders, fibromyalgia, anxiety, and bipolar disorder can be treated with gabapentin. Contact your doctor if you are experiencing any serious side effects. To learn more about gabapentin, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.